Hi guys and welcome back to another video game with the powers. I'm Jake and in today's video I'll be giving you guys my review of the board game Project L coming to you from Board Cube Bader Games. Now I do believe this is the second edition, well not so much the second edition, but like the second print run of Project L. I do think they just cleaned up a rule book a little but not a whole lot has changed. Uh, from the original game now before we dive into our review as always if you are new to our channel guys uh, How we break down our reviews we go a little bit more in depth than some of your traditional reviewers do uh, We break the game down into seven different categories. These categories are uh, theme components setup length difficulty replayability and price at the end of that uh, I will give you guys my overall rating and then since most of the games I back on um, most of the games I uh, review are coming from Kickstarter. I will give you guys my thoughts and opinions that if I had the opportunity to back this game again on Kickstarter, uh, would I do so? Okay, so let's go ahead and dive uh, right into Project L, guys. Uh, so starting off with the theme here, I'm gonna go ahead and give the theme an eight and a five. Uh, eight and a five. Uh, I cannot talk today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give the theme an eight and a half out of 10. Uh, this one is kind of tricky, right? Uh, there's not really a theme to the game at all. But on the other end of the spectrum, in that same breath, the theme of the game, the game, the mechanics do exactly what the game is advertising. So there's not a whole lot of theme, but uh, the game and mechanics do exactly what the game is saying. So I'm like, ah. I don't know what should I do here so I'm giving it a eight and a half out of ten let's jump down to the table and I'll show you how these mechanics tie into the game okay guys so we are down here where we would have something uh, set up what would be like a two-player game of uh, Project L and essentially the goal of the game is you are going to be drafting these different tiles so you have white tiles and you have black tiles uh, you're gonna be drafting these different tiles trying to fill these tiles up with the pieces that you get, okay? And uh, as you complete more tiles, they're gonna score you victory points and they will reward you with more pieces. So for example, like let's say if I had these three pieces here, right? Over the course of the game, I could fit all three of these pieces uh, into this tile if I had drafted this tile, right? You cannot do this from the board. So, you know, let's pretend I had just drafted this tile. I could fit all these pieces here and then this uh, puzzle piece is gonna reward me four victory points at the end of the game. And it would also reward me a yellow, a small yellow square, okay? So there's a couple different pieces in the game. You know, you got these uh, turquoise uh, L shapes, you got red squares, you got a... Um, purple, a purple straight one, you got these small little L's, right, you got these zigzags, uh, you got the small mini straightaways, you got super smaller straightaways, like a two block straightaway, three block straightaway, uh, you have these um, really Tetris looking blocks here, okay, and then you have these small square ones, and uh, look, that is pretty much the theme here, uh, of this game is uh, you're drafting these tiles, using your pieces to fill these tiles up to score victory points and get um, get more pieces out for you, okay? And there's some other things you can do on your turn to kind of manipulate all of this, but the game does advertise, you know, you are building an engine, right? In the rule book, it does say specifically, build an engine, upgrade your pieces, and perfect your strategy. And I think it does a great job of holding true to that and what you want to do. But other than that, there's not a whole lot of theme uh, going on with Project L. Okay, well, uh, let's move on to the components here. So uh, as always with the components, we're going to go ahead and drop down to the table. I'm going to talk about the components, show them off, uh, show off the rule book, show off the storage, all that good jazz. And then we'll be back up top here. Uh, for the remainder of our review. All right, guys, so down here at the table, I'm gonna go ahead and give the components a nine out of 10 here. I think these components uh, and everything with Project L is excellent, all right? Let's talk about these pieces first. So all of these little Tetris pieces, guys, are plastic pieces, but they're really nice. Um, I just love the feel of them. They're, they're lightweight. 
Um, they're not super bulky or super heavy, but they don't feel really cheap um, at the same time. There's so many variations in color here in the game, and I just really like the variety of all of the pieces that they, you have at your disposal to really try and build out um, all of these puzzles. So I think those puzzles are, are the puzzle pieces are great. Uh, the puzzle tiles themselves, um, I really do enjoy that they are dual layered, right? Project L uh, or Board Cubator really could have just gave you flat puzzle pieces. I really think that would have detracted from the uh, overall presence of the game. But to be able to have these dual layer tiles where these uh, puzzle pieces slide right in and they stay right in, right? They're not moving uh, a whole lot unless you really, really shake them. But uh, for the most part, when they're down in front of you, right they are not going to move at all and they are going to be nice and sturdy in here and it's just cool like slotting them in like that rather than if they were flat they would be slipping and sliding and i think it just makes it for a better overall presence of the game uh, but these are cardboard tiles with just basically a dual layer in them uh, you have a whole bunch of white and black tiles that um, i'll show you guys when we talk about the storage in the box um, I think these are cool, uh, really well done um, as well. The next thing is you have your player mats. Uh, these are just generic mats, right? Nothing too fancy about them. Uh, I do like how your player board or player mat does serve as a player aid as well. So it tells you all the actions you have on your turn, all the different types of puzzle pieces, like upgrading puzzle pieces, things, uh, your puzzle pieces to start with. Like you can have your puzzles up here. You can put your uh, victory point pile over here on the left-hand side. So I think they did a really great job with uh, making your little player mat serve as multiple things rather than just having to have like a player mat where you slot your tiles and then you have to have another um, aid card, player aid card with that. So excellent job there, Board Cube Vader. Okay, let's talk about this rule book. Uh, rule book, very simple, very crisp, uh, very clean rule book. Uh, not a whole lot of issues um, that I had here with the rule book. Uh, very straightforward, very simple. Um, the game, like I said, is very simplistic. You really don't have to refer to the rule book um, a whole lot. Um, goes into details about how to play it with multiple people. They got a solo variant, um, different things like that. And then also this rule book does include uh, some other variants, uh, so like a line clear variant, right? And then it also includes all the expansions. So Ghost Piece expansion, Finesse expansion, uh, and the Finesse Ambassador pack, Finesse solo variant. So I really like that, that if we ever wanted to get an expansion for Project L, I don't have to worry about trying to store another rule book in here because all the rules for that are in the base rule book, okay? Speaking of that, they also give you like a nice little uh, finesse tiles overview. This is an expansion um, to Project L. This did come in the base game. I do not own the expansion, uh, but they gave you that as well. Last thing here, guys, let's check out the storage uh, solution that we have here. So here you can see the rest of the black tiles. Here is all the rest of the white uh, tiles that we have here, a good amount of tiles. Um, again, I think this storage solution is great. It's very simplistic, very easy. All the black tiles fit in this little section. All the white tiles fit here, and then all of your puzzle pieces uh, will fit down in there. You just put the uh, mats, will slide right on top, rule book in the middle, and everything will fit uh, nice and neat and perfect in this little box. So just kind of wrapping all that up. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give these components a nine out of 10. All right, guys, moving on to the setup here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give the setup a 10 out of 10. I think this is probably one of the quickest setups for a board game that I have ever played. Um, maybe three to five minutes for the setup. Really, all you're doing is, uh, depending on your player count, you're gonna have a specific amount of those white tiles and a specific amount of those black tiles. So you'll get that uh, specific amount out. You'll just lay that row of white tiles out, that row of black tiles out. You hand all the players a player mat. There are two starting pieces, and you guys are ready to play. I mean, like, very, very quick to get to the table. I mean, Project L is one of those games that if you're in a time crunch, 
Uh, and I'll kind of hit this in the next section with length that if you're in a time crunch and you need something out quick, this is a quick setup that you're going to be able to jump right into the game. So 10 out of 10, I think this is excellent. This is perfect um, right for a game of this caliber. Okay, moving on to the length. So normally the length is on the box, but I could not find it anywhere on the box. It just has a uh, second edition player count and ages, right? So uh, we would normally find the length on the box. Went on to BGG, it said about 20 to 40 minutes. Uh, our typical protocol is whatever the length on the box is, uh, if it's right on the money, we give that a 7 out of 10, right? If it's a little bit faster, plays a little quicker, that's an 8 out of 10. If it plays really quick, faster than that, it's a 9 out of 10. Uh, but this case, since there is nothing actually on the box, uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this length a 9 out of 10, man. I think this is an excellent length uh, for the game. It does say on BGG about 20 to 40 minutes. And it really does fit in that range. I would even say about 20 to 30 minutes uh, once you really get this game down. Your first couple of games, it might drag on because you're trying to understand the pieces and you're trying to, in your head, figure out, okay, I can use this piece to fit this piece to do this and, and just trying to draft those puzzle tiles. Uh, but once you really get the game down, it's like boom, boom, boom. Uh, you're able to move through this really quickly. I mean, like, I think I got a solo mode up on the channel that was maybe 18 minutes right if you're looking for a game that can get to the table very quickly and get a playthrough in and if you're like in a time crunch then project l um, is the game for you so giving this a length a nine out of ten all right guys moving on to difficulty as always with the difficulty the higher the number the more challenging we feel the game is and the lower the number the easier we feel the game is i'm gonna go ahead and give the difficulty a two out of ten i think project l is very very simple right uh there's only about five things you can do on your turn you can either take a puzzle tile you can place a piece into one of your tiles you already have you can upgrade a piece um what's the other one you can uh do a master action which is like take put one piece on each of the puzzles you have in front of you and then you can recycle which is basically choose one of the rows and um let me make sure and remove all the puzzles in it and then draw um, some new puzzles out there. Those are the five actions in the base game. Very simple, very easy, not really hard to grasp. You can grasp it and understand it right away. Now, in terms of the strategy, there's a lot of uh, more breadth uh, or depth to the strategy, I want to say here, uh, that can get into the game. But in terms of just mechanics, how the game plays, very simple, very easy, uh, 2 out of 10. All right, guys, moving on to replayability here. So I'm going to go ahead and give the replayability an 8 out of 10. I think there's some great replayability here with Project L. Uh, you know, you have a lot of variability with all these different puzzle tiles, with the white puzzle tiles, the black puzzle tiles, all the different scoring um, objectives, the way that the, the shapes and sizes of the different tiles. And so I think overall, there's just a lot of great replayability here uh, in terms of Project L. You know, Project L is one of those games that's very crisp and smooth, like I said, that uh, it, it still remains fresh. Um, it had, gives you that fresh feeling even after playing it multiple, multiple times. So we got some great replayability here, eight out of 10. All right, moving on to the price. So uh, I looked online uh, pretty much the average from what I've seen, this game is around $28 to $35. There is places like Bordlandia and uh, Miniature Market, I believe, that you can pick this up for $28. A lot of the expansions for the game are very cheap as well, like $10 or, or $15 like that. Uh, but for that price, we'll go with $28. For that price, I think that's excellent. I think that's a 9 out of 10 for the production value of the game you're getting with those nice plastic pieces, with the dual layer tiles, the storage, all of that stuff. I really do think there's a lot of good value here at that price point of 28 bucks. So excellent, uh, excellent price point. I'm giving that a nine out of 10. Okay, moving on to my overall rating. I'm gonna go ahead and give Project L a nine out of 10. I think Project L is an excellent game. Like I've been saying all review guys, look, Project L is smooth, it's crisp, it's quick. Uh, um, you can, it is a great introductory game. 
uh, to board gamers, right? Like some people that really are not into board games. Uh, this is a good introductory game for them because everybody or almost everybody is familiar with Tetris or knows what Tetris is. And so this is basically a Tetris-like game, right? I think the rules... Uh, are so easy to pick up and understand and um, I think overall it's just a really great experience playing this game. For me the things that really stand out is just the how quick it is to get set up how quick the play times are for this game. You know, whenever we're in a pinch or something like that, I mean, like we busted this out the other day, you know, I had a couple friends coming over, we were diving into Primal Campaign, and uh, my wife uh, was still hanging around before she was going out with some friends, and she was like, hey, I got about 45 minutes uh, real quick. Uh, do you want to play a game? Do y'all want to play a game? I'm like, sure. Boom, let's bust out Project L, man, because it, we can get it out, get a playthrough in in about 25, 30 minutes, and it took us about like 28 28 to 30 minutes I think teaching uh, my other two friends how to play Project L but still I mean it was quick it was smooth we were able to get that in and she had about 10 minutes to spare and then she was able to go out with her friends so I think that's really the biggest thing that stands out for me is just how fast it is to get set up how easy it is the game to play and how quick it actually plays and then for me obviously the production man those those plastic pieces are so nice and the dual layer tiles the way things just slot in there just feels uh, really really well all right last thing if I had the opportunity to back project L again would I do so absolutely yes and I would actually get one of the expansions I would get to get that finesse uh, expansion I'm thinking about picking it up it is relatively cheap like I said it's about 10 to 11 dollars right now online uh, but I do think that will add some extra strategy uh, to this game and really just amplify a great experience um, that you guys will have playing Project L. All right, well, look, those are my thoughts and opinions very quickly on the board game uh, Project L coming to you from Board Cubator Games. If you guys own Project L or play Project L, please go ahead and let me know down in the comments below what are your thoughts. If you guys are enjoying this content, smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and as always, guys, if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more awesome content. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Bye.